All right, guys. Yeah, I got some old junk screwdrivers out of the parts bin, and we got to make some picks. I'm gonna grind them down. This one's already in a pit. It's already made into a pick, looks like. So I'm gonna. I don't know if that was a screwdriver or actually a pick. Clean it up. We were taking a. a Oh, not a pump motor at work, but a uh, water softener part, a head unit on a water softener for the boiler system. And we had a hard time getting O-rings off that top of that head unit. So since I, I said I'll make some picks, make different angle, different sizes, and I'll just show you what I'm doing. It's just be a quick video. and We needed one long one. So I don't no idea what this is. It's not a steel. First, I thought it was a sharpening steel, but it's not. We we have no idea what it is. It, it was. I think I got all this for fifty cents. So, just parts, just junk. There are no names. Uh, a couple of them are good screwdrivers, but don't need them. I need the picks more, and I need the screwdrivers. So, that's what I'm gonna do. So, here in a minute, I'll get started. All right, guys, I'll fire up the monster and use this grinding wheel. This one here, I usually don't use very often, but this grinding wheel right here, I got it with this table. I uh, bought this table and this grinding wheel for 50 bucks off of Marketplace, so it was a real good buy. Anyways, uh, back to my philosophy of buying used tools, I just wanted to mention that.
just show the this is that belt sander I got for 20 bucks and that our re uh, say restored or just repaired the, the bearings in it anyways shape them up now I'm going to probably put them in the I use a torch been make a couple angle different sizes different kinds like I said, probably buy a set for 20, 30 bucks, but different sizes like this. I know the long one, we could have used a real long one, and normally you can't get them, you know, 18 inches long. Re reaching back in there where the tube went into the uh, head unit on that water softener. Anyways, I'll clean them up and uh, I'll, I'll show you how I'm bending them here in just a little bit. All right. Don't know how this is going to turn out. Ah, come on, lighter. Well, my lighter fluid. Wouldn't you guess it? Right when I start to shoot a video. Damn it. All right, back in a second. Let's see how many bad comments I get for this. Too much. I just want enough to. I just don't need much. I just need heat. I'm not cutting. Somebody out there ain't gonna like it. Oh well. My tools. Do it the way you want to when you got your tools. A lot easier with acetylene. That's what I wanted. Now. I want to do, I really need a third hand. Let's see, what can I do it with this one? Oh, I bet I can. I'll do it. Bend it. That's what I want. I want to be able to get back in there. Oh, sorry. See that curve? All right. Ooh, I can already hear someone complaining. I'm wondering if I can make a twist angle on this one. That cool few seconds. Did 
this is going to be the hard part. Yeah, sorry guys, I can't show you what I'm doing. I'm wanting to twist the angle back a little bit, like that. Probably could do this with matte gas, I guess. I tried doing it with propane, obviously you saw that and that sucked. I'm gonna get a sharper point with this one, I hope. A little sharper L. somebody out there complaining and griping about what I'm doing. Now this one, man, I need to make it round. This is going to be hard. I'm just just cleaning these handles up a little bit and I'll show you the end product tools are all dirty I just I can't have tools dirty clean them up when you're done put them up I know they get dirty when you use them but I just can't Get these all cleaned up, take them to work. So there's nothing fancy, just some uh, picks, get, you know, O-rings, seals, things like that. They work, I mean. Any of you guys out there that's ever had a, a seal or an O-ring you couldn't get to and I mean, these old junker screwdrivers, like I said, they were in the part bin, and uh, I actually ran across, check that out, snap-on screwdriver, and it was in the junk bin. I missed it. I overlooked it the other day, so I'm going to clean that Phillips up and keep that. Definitely not making a pick out of that one. Good little screwdriver. But if you got some old junk screwdrivers around, you know, make you a couple picks instead of buying a set. I've got a set here at the house that uh, I'm gonna add to it. I've got I don't have enough. Man, these this one was nasty. Holy smokes, that was gross. There's all kinds of grease or something on there. Man. I don't mind a little grease. Clean them off once in a while. This is the only one I messed up on. I'll show here in a little bit what I'm talking about. Almost looks like a Stanley screwdriver. Let me wash my hands, I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see how this is gonna work. All right, 
Whoops. Yeah, hell. This this one turned out well. Just a little short one. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'll get a tape measure out. About four and a half inches. That one's about five and a half. Five and a half. That's a little over six. That one's about nine. Yeah, about nine inches. And of course this one, it's it's long. Ah, you really need someone to film. See that's fifteen. About eight. Six and a half. Anyways. That one, I got a curve back in it. I might have to make a little, another one with a little more curve to it. This one I screwed up on. This one's got two, the angle's too far back. I can already tell this one's not going to work very well. In, it might work in an automotive setting, but not in a where I work. This one's just about right. Just about perfect, I think. This one's even better. That one turned out perfect. The angle on that's just about right. And then, of course, got two straight ones, which that, that works good. That one was already, I think this was already a pick. But then I made this one. This one's heavy. It's a wooden handle. Don't know what it is. It, it looks like it was made that way. At first, I thought it was a steel for sharpening knives, but it's not. Now this one I angled back. I like this one. This one's going to work, especially where you get the inside the O-ring or a big seal, a heavy seal. This one's going to work great, especially for pump motors. And this one, this one you got, I got a curled loop back. I probably should have made two of these. One a little longer. But that turned out good. All right, guys. Like I said, I'm trying to make all tools, all my tools, secondhand used tools. Uh, a couple of these I'm probably going to keep here, I think. I may not take them to work, but uh, the rest of them I'm going to take to work. Make a couple more. Uh, I went in my toolbox here at home and grabbed these small ones just to you know show the difference the only thing I couldn't make and I bet I could it just take me a little finigging that one there but the ones you usually use the most is the straight pick and angled these two and the one this curved one works uh, getting a seal out no, big pump motor or something I don't know if this would work on a seal in a the old uh, transmissions or not, but I don't care. Like I said, probably got 50 cents maybe in all those screwdrivers. They were in the parts bin, junk bin. Be careful though. <laughs> that was a snap-on, and I'm definitely not trashing the snap-on wrench or screwdriver. I'm gonna clean that up, make it look new. That's a nice find. It's got. I like the handle on this. This is a nice handle. Anyways, pay attention when you're out scavenging out there in flea markets and pawn shops and garage sales. Hell, even Marketplace on uh, Facebook Marketplace. There's, you can find some good stuff. Alright, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Thumbs down if you don't like what I'm doing. Tell me why. And if you like what I'm doing, tell me why. I appreciate it. I'm having fun doing this anyway. So, See ya.